a tournament. Uh, but Spark, EVO champion of the official EVO 2011 CS2, uh, renowned around the world for pristine defense and uh, quite uh, stellar hockey play. I remember that match. It was him versus Elaichi, and I think, uh, yeah, at one point he was walking for a good 20 seconds, and he just looked comfortable. Let's see if he's still got that form or if these five years have given him some rust. He's been playing Blaze Blue a good amount, but uh, not participating in tournaments to the uh, degree that some of us would like to see. He really has no qualms about running up on 9 here. Well, more, more players would be pretty afraid of an issue game. Well, I mean, he's, he's Hackerman. You've got to choose play stars. You can hang back, kill stars, or you can try to jump in. A good block on the block there. Akumi does have great normals just for contesting people in neutral, so I think he is uh, choosing a good approach in playing fight. Oh, good for a moment there. I find he, he uses Kunzai differently to a lot of other 9 that you'll see around. He's not very predictable. Usually for a 9 play you'll see 5A, 5C, 3C, Kunzai. I guess that's kind of what's for him. He prefers to build the Kunzai and then save it. Yeah, he'll switch out of it. He yeah. it in his backstop. He was one of the strongest ways to use it. It's a bit like Johnny's spy hander from Guilty Gear. You just jump above their head, throw the rock, and... They're stuck. They're stuck. It's like plus 20, plus 30 on block. If they get hit, free combo. If they block, fine. You get a jump. You get, you get an empty jump or a jump in. So yeah. You can really do whatever you want. And there's no stopping it, because it's not her. It's, it's got no hurt box. Now, fortunately for um, Spark, Hawkman does have a couple character specific answers and things like Pikachu or 6D. Oh, he can use, at least use to nullify the bot. One of the things that Hawkman's probably missing, though, that he used to have is in CF, a lot of characters had projectile normals that are now not projectiles. So Hawkman used to be able to cut things in neutral. Like Rachel's 5D. Rachel's 5D, Noelle's things. I have to imagine 9 would have been in that bucket if they hadn't made that system check. Very good point. Smart with only two Magatama, it's going to be a little tough for him to come back here. Back to see, like you were saying earlier, he has the rock store he was sitting on, hoping for a situation to use it. Now he's converted to the time bomb. I literally have no idea what these are called. I'm just going to make them up as I go along. Well, I'm pretty sure they're all extremely long term. Done. <laughs> <laughs> also has a. Oh, catches the oh. roll with 3C. Brilliant read from Cohen there. You, you've got to feel sorry for Hakuman that Nine just comes along and she has bigger normal. Like, Hakuman is supposed to be the He's, guy with big He has the normal. biggest sword in the game. It's bigger than the freaking meter bar. <laughs> yeah, but her fire... I don't know what it goes. You know, Whatever. Oh, oh, oh! Spark picks up the round. I like justifying uh, Nine's normals as... Oh, oh, it's magic. That's all it is. They're magic. Yeah. It's very magical. To sit and wait. Yeah, very yeah. classic spark. So he's building some stars so that when he wants to, he can use Emma to get in. Like that. Look at that. Confirm. Beautiful. Beautiful spark. He just throws out the 4C. Now nine, recognizes. She, now she has a spell, so she can't uppercut now. Because norm, normally she's limited because it costs a spell on use. It's a strange DP. It's very slow. It's 20 something frame startup. Almost but impossible to punch. It's minus two or minus three. Yeah. You really have to have a win. Oh, the read on the air throw! That was beautiful. Especially because he could have done a double teleport. So, I don't know if Spike was just going for the first thing he saw, or if he actually, you know, made the read and said he's not going to do a double. Well, maybe he's uh, tuned in to Matt Cohen's tendency at this point. Some extremely long rounds. Ooh, immediately burst out of the rock. He's not want any of it. Harkerman players, it's a bit like a grappler. You live and die by... Wow. Oh, well, Agito doesn't quite need a nine. I was, I was worried there that that was slightly the end. But Herman's in a good spot. There's oh, the cool side. He will convert on this into a kill. Especially with Overdrive Super. He gets the third laser beam. And he's no! Does he kill? He's still alive! This is one pixel. He's on his fourth Magatama. He has enough for Yukikaze if he does feel like using it in neutral. Oh! oh he gets clipped by the 2B. Such a good poke. Oh, man, that was pixel on either side, but obviously in that situation, 9 definitely has the advantage. Mm -hmm. Especially with, uh, you notice that Spark went in there for the Kishu, and Matt Koma smartly knowing that it was vulnerable to Lowe's. <laughs> 4C kind of fun. 4C is really good counting at time. Yeah, I mean, it's, uh, whoa, <laughs> tries for a hard read on the dashboard. You know what I'd like to see is 
I haven't seen too many D buttons from Spark. I, that is his. That is his trademark. He will I imagine that he knows this matchup well enough to find the spots to make it work. It is simply the definition of him as a player. Just well, stay away from the button. There we go. He just pressed it and he got blown up for it. So that that tells me exactly what I need to know. <laughs> oh, Fairy coming out wisely, jumping out by Spark, wanting nothing to do with that knockdown. That is a beautiful idea, yeah, bro. But I mean, how come these D buttons? They've changed a lot over the iterations. They're really a lot cool. different. Than that. In previous versions, he was more than happy to use his frame point unblockable. Yeah, I remember CS1. He's jump D. You just do it on reaction, and it was like 4K meters, or 4K for like one star or something. Now you've got to actually work for it. You've got to earn it. Aggressive with it, but neutral. Spark tying it up, uh, putting himself in round advantage here, hoping to steal a game off Goma. It's not stealing if he earned it. No. <laughs> but in this in this uh, in this timeline, uh, it's definitely going to be a struggle for Spark to keep it his advantage. I was expecting an AA there. Raw rock, Spark's defense looking a little less than stellar here. It's so tough though because it's she could go 3C, she can do rock. The only tough. part is that you know it's it's a mix-up that turns into a pressure tool. And it's always things like that that uh, Spark has possibly struggled against because, you know, he's looking for ways to escape pressure and that means that he also has to simultaneously beat the overhead. There we go, just a solid, solid combo there to close it out and Spark takes game two. Look at him. <laughs> Look at his Look at him. smug grin. <laughs> so smug. He's like, yeah, I just let him have the first one. Coma, on the other hand, looking very, very serious. focused. Going into game three, uh, naturally. You know what I really like? Huh? Not seeing any coaching. Love it. I, 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 whenever someone like walks in, they just like whisper, they're like, hey, hey. Hey, hey, hey. No, I, just yeah, I know. That. Why didn't Hart coach me? I felt that. He's from my scene. I felt betrayed. No, man, no coaching. Just, it's you're the one that's on the stage. You made it there. You play. Here we go. For, uh, game three. Now, I think this might be a matchup where Nine actually has to play a little differently because Spark is content to simply gain Magatama in neutral. And where a Nine normally forces characters to come to her, she has to come to them. This is the first round that that's actually really being the case. Spark has usually built one or two, and then he goes in. Now he's built quite a war chest. And look, he's, he's up four, and Nine used her burst. She does have meteors uh, stocked up. We missed time that. Or maybe it was supposed to be a jumpy. One of the two. Good luck. The 2C and 3C. Off the counter hit kick from. 2C and 3C look identical. I know, it's, it's such a mess. It's a mess. One of them's low, the other one's not. It's like they just got lazy when they were animating. All right. Whoa! I have to imagine Kona was trying to backdash there, but the frames just don't work out. Because her backdash is not frame one involved, is that right? No, it's frame three, I believe. Frame three. To uh, normal, so projectiles are frame. Oh, yeah, yeah. But when she does her, I don't know the word, when she does her Phoenix move that goes in and blows up, she's negative. Right. So she's negative, and then has at least a true frame vulnerability on the backdash. If you've got a fast button, she can't get out. One thing I find is that the uh, the bomber type man type move it, it does have quite a lot of pushback on Bob, so it is somewhat difficult to um, go in and hit her backdash startup. Oh, for sure. But as far as nine goes, that's really the time that you get to play. Yeah, that's one of the matchup specific moments where you need to capitalize on her. Oh, and there's the Zvian. <laughs> oh, the cross it doesn't quite matter. Oh, it doesn't combo. Trying to wait it out. He's blocked so many 6Bs here. But I the third one in a row at this point. 6B is somewhat predictable because of Huckman. The strings he can do into 6B, they're very consistent. Right. He, he can't really just throw it anywhere he wants. That being said, got to respect blocking overheads. Spark going back. Oh, Kunzai and it tracks. It's homing. So oh, good. What a move. What a move. Spark actually. Oh, whoa, what is this? If he lands a hit, he doesn't want any That was burst. actually a beautiful safe jump auto time there. Oh, no, the overdrive in favor of Matt Coma. Here we go. Coma, you probably can't close it out here, but he'll need one more hit. He will tire uh, Sparks overdrive, however, putting himself into a little bit of a health advantage. He's got eight stocks. The conversion in favor of Spark that will be the round, ladies and gentlemen. And Spark takes it. The competitors shake it out. Matt Coma played so well. His defense was just something to marvel. 